That's not an Amanita. That's the vomiter. See that V shape? It sinks in in the center. Squirrel got into this Amanita right here. There's another one too. So it is usually season. It has just been raining and raining and raining here. That's another blusher. Yes, yes. Another blusher. Also an Amanita. Well, it's getting freaking dark, man. I have a flashlight on the phone, but I don't like being out here. After so I leave for Europe here in about 10 days. I'm getting pretty stressed and it's been raining for about two weeks but I've just been too busy to really come out here. But I'm really stressed. And I have a lot to do, but I'm just taking this whole day off. And I came out to the woods just to see if anything might be growing. You should see the amount of chanterelles I'm looking at. So, across the way, see all those little orange pops of color? Those are all chanterelles, okay? See right here? Those are all chanterelles. And right there? Those are all chanterelles. It goes all the way back in that direction. So right there. You hear that? That's a bird of prey. One of them attacked Freya couple of months ago. Probably a hawk. But my god, they don't usually fruit this late in the summer. It's August. And they're usually done. I'll get one pretty big haul in July, and then after that, they're usually done. But look at the size of these. My god, they're huge. They're really big. It's a big old chanter around. They look small on the camera until I go to pick them up. Look at this. And they just go and go and go and go and go and go. Also, oh wow, they're around that corner over there too. But also the mosquitoes are swarming, likely because of all the rain. But how cool is this, man? Other than the swarming mosquitoes. It's interesting how soft the forest is after it rains. and It's so peaceful, especially after just weeks of rain, you know? And the forest are my friends now. It's so much more healing once you get to know your trees and they become friends and family. It's a whole different experience coming to the forest like that. And if you've never been able to do that, I, I highly encourage you to start befriending trees. The amount of grounding energy that they hold, the conversations they have, the clearing energy, their abilities are otherworldly. So I didn't bring a basket. So um I guess I'm gonna go get a basket. <sighs> Bunch of turkey tail. Look. Look at that. Jeez, Louise. <sighs> Very pretty here. Oh, that's a conch. Turkey tails are all dead and old. That tree is very old. But these are fresh and new. My gosh, that's a lot. That's gonna make a lot of tincture. Wow. Crazy harvest. You wanna see how to identify turkey tail? Cause like there's this, that's not turkey tail. 
Turkey Town is going to have the, you know, rings around it, whatever, and that white edge. But the identification of Turkey Tail is underneath. So, let me see if I can get this to zoom in. It has pores underneath it instead of gills. Wait right there. So, right here we have Turkey Tail that's meeting not turkey tail. So let me show you the difference. So look at that. See how that is gilled? Right? I thought I saw a toothed. And then anyway, there's one that looks just like this also that's got teeth. It's like these, um, like straws sticking down underneath it. If I see one of those, I'll show it to you. Anyway, that's the difference between these that look just like turkey tail on the top, but aren't. They're just dried up and older. And then these are fresh, fresh, fresh turkey tail. Bunch of turkey tail growing on it. Man, I've got so much turkey tail this year. What we have here, that is some washed up old hen of the woods, Mayatake right there. It's already infested with lots of fly, flying things, but now I know they're fruiting, so I'm, man, I just missed it too. 12 hours and I would have been here just in time. Wow, that's a good find right there. That's a good omen. When I first came out looking in the woods that time that I found my first Amanita, it was right here, but also like I came back and there were just so many different kinds of mushrooms. And this whole summer, there's just been nothing out here. So I thought I'd come check again and I found puffballs that had already gone. <laughs> what are you? It's a bracket fungi, very spongy though, very wet, doesn't have a smell. Look, marching the rims. They're not a bunch of them, but they are so bright. Oh, look. Hey, buddy. Cool. Oh, enjoy your sleep. You don't like my bag? That was my some of my first merch years ago. It did not sell at all. Nobody liked it. But I got a bag out of the deal. <laughs> How pretty. It's really pretty over here, look. How it goes around a bend right here. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. I mean, I'm suited up like this because of the mosquitoes. And it's very hot, but like, the only way to keep them from biting swarming and stuff there's a cool really big mushroom over here coming out of the tree I'm gonna go and gather those chanterelles it's just so hot and humid I can't breathe <sighs> then again I may not we'll see maybe later when it's not so hot well, I hope you enjoyed looking at mushrooms and sort of doing a low-key, stress-free, chill out in the woods kind of thing. I love you beautiful people. Bye!